Welcome to Twisted Brush Pro Studio. In this video I'm using version 17.15 of Twisted Brush. In this video I want to show the uh, differences between the Pro Clip series of brushes and the Pro Image Brush series of brushes. Uh, they're, they're similar uh, in the sense that they uh, both allow you to paint with uh, image objects. Uh, however, they both have uh, some uh, advantages and disadvantages. The starting with the Pro Clip brush, let's select this uh, photographic object and paint as you would expect. As you can see here, it's actually set up for rotation uh, already. Now, one thing you'll notice if we increase the size. And if we zoom in, we could see, get an idea of what the quality looks like. The Pro Clip brushes are of higher quality than the Pro Image brushes. However, they are a little slower and a little less flexible. So let's go back to uh, our one-to-one -one zoom and do the same, same type of thing with the Pro Image brushes. I'm going to select this object here um, and paint. We can see that it already looks to be painting faster, and it's because it does. Another thing you'll notice is the image that we uh, selected from our clips bank got clipped to the uh, shape of the brush. That does not happen with the, the Pro Clip brushes. Another thing we'll notice here is if I change the size to something small and select this object, we could see it paints as we'd expect. If we increase the size of that object, suddenly we could see that the, the quality of the object is, uh, is very low. This is because when you select uh, an object from your clips bank into your Pro Image brush, it makes a copy of it uh, at the size of your current brush. So when you're working with the Pro Image brushes, always start with your, the larger size uh, if you're going to select an object. You can always go smaller or resize it, but going larger, you'll have a, a loss in image quality. Let's select this uh, sphere and show a couple other advantages why image brushes even exist if their quality isn't as, as great. So here we see we, we're painting with the, the red sphere. Uh, one thing the image brushes have that uh, the clips brushes don't is we could do pixel level uh, work on those, meaning we could do effects that just aren't available to the to the clips. So here I'm going to select the uh, color tint level. I'm going to slide it all the way up. And now we can see we can change the color of the object that we're working with. That is something you cannot do with the, the clip brushes, and that applies course to any any object that you select when you're using these. In addition, the Pro Image Brushes give you the flexibility of working with, um, like I was saying, the pixel level effects that allow you to do things other than just stamping a copy of the image. You could do uh, effects that give you, you know, painterly uh, work, such as here I'm going to select the uh, Pro Image Brush uh, Pastel. Let's just reduce the size here a little bit. So we can, we're painting here uh, pastel effect with the with the goldfish brush. Let's just um, turn back on the tint level for that. Slide it all the way up and change it to blue. Now we're doing blue with that object, and we can change the object to something else, of course. So the Pro Clip brushes are of higher quality, they just stamp the object down on your page, uh, but they are slower. The Pro Image series of brushes are faster, and they give you the ability to tint the objects and do pixel level effects, um, but the, the quality, the visual quality uh, can suffer, especially if you're rotating or resizing the, the object.